Hello, today I have DMS here and uh, again. Yeah, again. This is yeah. uh, what three? It's almost like we filmed all these at the same time. Wow, almost, almost. It's crazy. A couple it? days. Yeah. So, um, and I'm Dylan, the product manager of Dakoni Audio, and today we have the foam attenuator kit. So this was kind of a project that I got from another YouTuber who was like, "Hey, it would be really cool if someone offered a kit of foam and that you could just." mod your headphones with. Right. Um, I've spent many nights with these up to like three in the morning just like tinkering things. This pile of foam right here, like this thing, all these little like, you know, cut off bits, there is a trash can just full of those in my office. Right, so um, typically like there's this anecdote of someone putting a piece of tissue paper over a driver, you know, mm -hmm. a tweeter, and that attenuates high frequency content. So that was kind of the idea behind this foam. Yeah, the ever popular Reddit mods. Right, so, you know, you could really modify your headphone and get the sound you want with some foam, and it, it might be a bit sacrilege or awkward. You know, people say don't put things in front of your driver, but- Right, well, it goes back and forth. Right. Um, there's a lot of people that say it will sacrifice some level of technicality, but it depends on where your trade-offs are. If you want better tuning, which a lot of people do, it's a pretty easy way to achieve that. Right, so like manufacturers like Dan Clark actually offer their own kind of kits mm -hmm. for you know tuning the Aeons and stuff like that. So it's not really something that is bad. It's you know personal preference. So, yeah, like most of audio. Right, so whatever works for you, we have something in this kit. Um, today we have our Bayer Dynamic T1 second gen. Yes. Which we pre-cut the foam for, save some time. And uh, DMS will be trying and, you know, telling you his experience with the foam. Uh, and this one is, it's very important to be constructive about because again, maybe the foam's not for you, but right. it's, it's there. Oh, there's, there's gonna be a winner out of one of these. We got like, you know, well the whole kit, which is four stacks of foam, so. Um, you guys had a lot of headphones to choose from, and you were talking about your old second gen T1, and I was like, oh, oh, please, that one. This, I remember this uh, headphone. I've always loved it, and I always thought it was just a little bit bright. Mm -hmm. So I feel like this is the perfect one to try this out on. Sure, okay, so uh, let's get to it. So I don't know the densities of these. I can kind of guess by looking at them, but I'm not positive where to start with this. I mean, this guy looks like the thinnest and lightest. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of organize these how I think that they are in terms of density. Yeah, so, so it's kind of hard to differentiate them on camera, but the this one would be specular foam. Okay. So, uh, luckily I don't even have to take the pads off on this guy, so I can just kind of take it, put it in here, and tuck it under the edge. Right, so Bayer Dynamic stock pads don't actually have a dust filter. Yep. So If you I did, you'd probably want to pull the whole pad off, put it on, and... Right, so um, with the Dakoni pads, we do offer a dust filter, and that also offers a little bit of attenuation because yeah. of the, the structure of it. I don't know if you can see this on there, but here's the regular cup. Is that good, you think? Okay, yeah. so here's the regular cup, and then here's the cup that I just put the foam in. I just tucked it under this lip all the way around, nice and easy. And now I'm gonna do the other side, and we will listen to it. I've been listening to this thing this morning, so I've already kinda had these on my ears, gotten used to the stock sound again. The airy bears. Ooh, I'm tangled. I'm caught. <laughs> okay. Oh, I almost pressed the space bar. Oh, that already makes a difference. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna have to go through all of them and then like, cause I know it's gonna change each time. Mm -hmm. So the science behind memory foam, or not memory foam, but foam in general, is that it has an irregular structure. So that irregular structure, every time, you know, you hit a new wall or, um, you know, part of the foam, because it's, it's, it's like a maze almost for sound. Yeah, it's a bunch of tiny rooms. So, right, so every time it hits a new room, it loses energy. Mm -hmm. So typically your high frequency content will, you know, it's much smaller wave and it'll fit inside those rooms and hit more rooms than lower frequency content. That's why when you put foam in between a driver, you lose usually, typically, more of the highs and the high mids. And that's that's how you're adjusting your sound with the attenuation kit. Yeah, it's like a super diffuser. Right. And then your more dense foams like this just have way more really tiny rooms. Mm -hmm. Right. I see, and now the second one's more dense and I already like it more.
Wow, I like that one a lot. Okay. We'll see how it goes when it gets a little bit heavier. So I'm putting this guy up here right now. This is like the uh, second most light of the foams. Mm -hmm. So we'll keep going more dense. I don't know which of these is the most dense. I'm assuming this guy, but this one looks, this is the most rigid foam, but this looks like the most dense foam. That's tough. I guess we'll find out. I guess what matters is how it sounds, not the, uh, not the technicality behind it. Mm -hmm. I don't need to know the actual density. And this one feels like more like, I don't know, I don't know what the word is, more spongy, I guess, than the other foams do. Not like quite like memory foam, but leaning in that direction. Okay. So this one kind of cuts out the air a little bit. Um, I'm getting like a little bit more mid treble than the other foams are. So I almost wonder if that layered up with a foam that cuts more down on like the lower treble upper mids, what that would do. I might try combining two of these in a moment. Uh, let's see what the last one does and then kind of go from there. Now this one's like more coarse than the rest of them. Here, I'll get up there so you can see it. This kind of light one, it's a bit more coarse. It feels like, um, what are those like rocks that you get? People have them in the bathrooms, they're like good for your pores and stuff, you know? Like an exfoliating oh, rock. Like um, a pumice stone. Yes, mm -hmm. pumice. It feels like pumice kind of. God, you said that, I almost said hummus. Pumice stone. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, interesting, okay. Okay, I kind of got an idea of where that's going. I want to combine two of these. Sure. And I think it's going to be, so I think it's going to be the two lightest ones. So I think I'll put in the lightest one and then the second lightest one kind of together. Because they're a bit different than these foams as far as like how porous they are. Mm -hmm. um, and I think together that's probably what I'll end up liking the most. So I'm just kind of, these are so thin, it's really easy to kind of double layer them in here. Just gotta tuck this under the pad. I seriously don't know how, but I just, I'm, I will actually stay up until three in the morning doing this to headphones in my collection <laughs> all the time. I feel like probably like half the phone kits you guys have sold have probably gone to my address secretly. <laughs> I just buy them all the time. I'm serious, actually, too. Like, I, I know I could have, like, hit you guys up and been like, give me some foam kits, but I've actually probably bought, like, a dozen of these. <laughs> okay. Hmm. i do another song. God, there's bass now. <laughs> That's very cool. I think... I think I liked it most with the second one. Mm -hmm. out of all of these. But I think that combining these in a bunch of different ways, you get some really like totally varying results. So my question is, is there a negative to doing this? I didn't experience any negatives when I was going through that, with the exception that, that um, the ones that had a higher density, mm -hmm. uh, not, I don't know if density is the right word, the ones that are, maybe it is density. The higher density foams were, they would roll the air off a little bit and I'd hear more of like the lower mid treble, mm -hmm. which isn't necessarily a negative. That could be a good thing depending on what you're going for in the headphone. A little bit of that probably benefits this. My big goal with the T1 is cutting back like the upper treble, like that like 10K and stuff. And for that, the less dense foams seem to do that really well without kind of messing with the rest of the frequency response. And except for when I doubled up both and then I kind of I feel like kind of put like a little bit of a shelf lowering the entire treble region mm -hmm. and it was more like bass that was able to make it through. Um, so there's not like, as far as tonally, not gonna be like an intrinsic massive negative to doing that. Um, some people will tell you that you get less detail that way. You might, um, but I've never really thought of that as like a massive deal breaker because I have, like you said, the Dan Clarks that have the pieces in them. Sure. Um, and I use the an attenuator in those usually just because for me, Detail's cool, um, but a lot of these headphones are already super detailed anyway, and I'd rather just get a little bit more good tone out of it and be able to enjoy it, listen to it for longer, and not have to, you know, get fatigued and take them off my head. So especially if there's something in the treble or mid-range that's bothering me, a little bit of foam is always a nice solution to that. Great, so I'm glad we did this today. So this is our foam attenuator kit, and if you're interested in purchasing it, you can head on over to deconeaudio.com, especially for all your headphone and accessory needs. Thank you for having me on here. Yeah. Thank you for letting me play with your T1s. 
This makes me want to buy more old headphones that I don't need, but I, oh, it's just so fun to mess with them. <laughs> um, but rumor in the grapevine is these guys are going to be doing some more modding content. So I'm looking forward to that. Right. So subscribe to their channel and head on over to DaconiAudio.com for all your headphone accessory needs. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Dylan, this is DMS, and we'll see you next time. I'm going to listen to music. <laughs>